listen, I am absolutely not making light of this. But have you noticed what's been going on around the country with the weather? There's a lot of places that are having difficulties, right? We've seen flooding, we've seen fires. And all I'm saying, guys, is there's a lot of properties out there in the country that are gonna need some form of renovation. And I know that we're gonna get emergency relief money, but just keep this in mind. Renovation loans can help your business and there's a need for it right now. And Remin is the answer for you. Click this banner right over there. So check this out. We heard this from multiple sources that Ditech closed down their retail division over a company-wide marketing strategy conference call. Now, as we're shooting this, we don't have a whole bunch of details. In fact, as you're watching this, you probably know more. But here's my question. Why didn't these guys close down like seven years ago? How did they stay alive and say Countrywide didn't? Think about it. Remember this ad? He's coming. Hurry up. All right, all right. He's at the door. Get ready. Are you a homeowner with too many bills? Refinance now with Ditech.com and consolidate debts into one low monthly payment with no out-of-pocket closing costs. Tomorrow, you're catching. Log on or call 1-800-71-FIX. If you remember, their company was like built on selling bait and switch 125 LTV interest only low doc, low score type of loans. And in mid 2014, they rebranded and came back to lending in a big way. I mean, how on earth did these guys not fail? How did they take a brand that was built on subprime and then go ahead and make it something that people were using again? And now only two years later, retail is dust in the winds. You're my boy, Blue. Thing is, I heard, and I can't verify, but I heard they went all money store on their employees, meaning everything was fine, and then, oops, no notice, you're all just gone. Now, if you forgot the money store story, employees were given a fire drill, and once out of the building, they chained the doors shut. Anyway, if you know why this happened with Ditech, let us know down below. The more details, the better. Side note, I was actually working on the riverboats in Sacramento when the money store put up that big building. Frank remembers it, it's a big pyramid. And the CEO of the company actually got on a crane on the top of this building and swung around in circles to, fa to find the view that he wanted to uh, have for his office. That's how much money they had. And then the next night, they were gone. Totally trippy. Anyways, wanted to bring this up. A show we did a couple of days ago. We mentioned that there was an appraiser shortage and you, well, you disagreed with us. Yeah, well, one of our viewers, Eric Morris, says, this is pure baloney. This is just more lending industry propaganda attempting to ensure there's a big pool to pick from to do their bidding and get rid of the ones who are ethical. <laughs> okay, uh, Mike Robinson says, there's no shortage of appraisers when the fee we get now is what it was 20 years ago. The scope of work is greater and AMCs have taken over. And there's a few more that are just like that. Okay, so just to let you know, we're not part of a lending propaganda. But I do see where the same fee you had 20 years ago is a problem if that's the case. I do know appraisers' income actually went backwards post HVCC, but what are the chances all these comments are from appraisers? 100%? Yeah, that's my thinking. The truth be told, if I was an appraiser, I wouldn't want any new appraisers coming in because I wouldn't want the competition. And also, as an appraiser, I'd love to see a shortage come around in an I told you so kind of way. Hey, mortgage applications, they dropped 27% over the past two weeks, according to the Mortgage Bankers Association. Now, I can't imagine why that would happen. Hmm. Okay, the Wednesday before Christmas, everyone was attacking each other in Walmart for last minute hoverboard Christmas presents. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday were dead. Monday was dead because of hangovers and hoverboard fires and concussions. 
Oh my. So no apps were done at those times. Okay, doing the math on this, but Tuesday and Wednesday, we're good. You get your apps in there. But then Thursday is New Year's Eve, and let's be honest here, this is a real estate and lending and sales industry, so you're all probably drunk by nine o'clock in the morning. I know me and Frank were, so no loans were done there. Then Friday, New Year's Day came in, you know, clearly a dead day as we're all nursing our hangovers. Then the weekend was upon us, and now here we are. Honestly, I'm shocked. In fact, absolutely shocked mortgage applications weren't down 78%, as my research would suggest. <sighs> and the moral to the story is, it's time to start eating green things and get back on our game. Yeah, and get back on our business game as well, which you can do with Listing Booster, the ultimate business game changer. There is a Listing Booster banner on your right. Click it, put your info in there. One of our people will get a hold of you, explain the whole thing to you. You'll be off and running with new business pouring in. How would you like to go into a real estate office and go, hey, here's all the leads we generated together. Yeah. When are we gonna start working them, you know? Totally. I mean, Listing Booster will do that. You guys have totally. a great day. Leave us your comments down below. Forward, share, and subscribe in the upper right-hand corner. Adios. Don't you think it's interesting how on New Year's Eve, everybody makes these resolutions to be healthier, to drink less, mm -hmm. to work harder, and then you spend the rest of the day absolutely sabotaging that idea? Yeah. <laughs> Still trying to figure it out. Because <laughs> you always got the next day. <laughs> Bye. See ya. <sighs>